everyone, I am back and it has been a while. I've been so busy with my job and also exams for a while that I didn't have any time to do any videos. But today I decided to do this video because I wanted to try out the new products that I recently got for my hair. They're from Olaplex. I'm super curious about them because I did a lot of research and everybody has been saying that they work like magic. It was actually invented by a group of chemists, I think, that it, they said that it has the ability to sort of just repair your hair from inside out. Let me read my notes here. Ability to sort of restore damage and compromise hair by repairing it from the inside out. So a lot of its product is actually protected by patent registration. So I heard that last year they even sued uh, L'Oreal because of some patent infringement. So they actually sued them for 66 million. So it must be good products if uh, a big brand is trying to copy the recipe as well. So they actually have eight products in total, but I'm not going to try to explain them here in details. You can read it on my text blog www.rosalips.com. And last week I got a balayage and so, so I dyed my hair a little lighter. I don't know if you guys can see that. So uh, my hairdresser had to bleach it, but uh, my hair is already pretty damaged. Um, you know, there's like dried ends and there's like a lot of split. He actually cut part of it, but he was still pretty worried uh, about bleaching my hair. So he recommended that to add Olaplex number one and number two, which are specifically provided for salon. And he said that it is going to be protect my hair while bleaching and coloring it. And it's also going to make the result, the final coloring result looks nicer. So I was like, Oh, I heard about this brand before and he's like, yeah, and he told me that apparently it was a big deal when it just came out a couple of years ago because it's just so uh, new and there was no product that can do what they do. So when I got back, I immediately bought the number zero, which is a uh, uh, intensive bound builder muting hair treatment and number three, which is like a hair mask called hair perfection. Um, these are not cheap. Each of them are worth 30 euro. I've never spent so much money on such a tiny hair product. It's 100 ml for 30 euros. So in total, they were like 60. Um, but you know, I trust the experts, so I got them all um, because it's recommended to use number zero and number three together. They say you can it can triple the effect that uh, number three actually can do for you. So I got them all, and I want to try it today and see if you can actually repair my hair in one time because I saw online from a lot of people just after one use their hair was already pretty good so um, my hair right now already I already did my first wash that you can that's why you can see that there's no more style anymore and got some pictures here when well, this was before I wash my, wash my hair so it was still quite nice you can see it was quite shiny and then this was after I washed it and you can see that right now there's like a lot of dried ends and it doesn't look so nice anymore I actually already did one hair mask as well and I put a lot of nice um, hair oil Moroccan oils on it but you know because it's bleached so it's damaged so I'm super curious to see that if it's actually going to um, repair my hair within one time so let's get started so i'm gonna start with number zero first and it says here that you need to wet your hair with this number zero first and wait for 10 minutes and do not wash it and then apply a generous amount of number three hair perfecter to the wet hair and wait for another 10 minutes um i heard i actually saw online that this little Thing is not very handy so I got myself a little spray bottle and I just put it inside here so I can just spray it all over my hair and uh, now I'm gonna wait for 10 minutes and come back so I'm just gonna do this I don't think you guys need to see the whole process so I'm just going to um, you know skip this part and come back later after 10 minutes so right now after 10 minutes you can still see that my hair is wet 
from number zero. Now I'm gonna use uh, number three. I also prepare a little brush with it because this can make sure that I brush it through all my hair and that the mask is going to be on every part of the hair. I don't know if this process will look ugly, but I'm gonna try to do it in front of the camera. I'll just, you know, try. I'm just gonna put it here on the brush. Then I'm just gonna brush it through like this to make sure that it's all on my hair. I'm not sure if it's the best way to do it, but Okay, I also try to use my hand a little and I put a little bit more at the bottom because they are more damaged than the, the hair from the upper side. And it says in the description that I just need to leave it on minimum for 10 minutes, longer if desired. You can just keep it like this, um, but I'm going to actually use some extra aid. So I usually wear a hat like this. Just so. You know, it looks too ugly if I do it on a camera, but basically I just put this plastic hat on my hair and that's because I'm going to use this um, another hat that I got just online. It sort of gives off like warm air. You can already see that inside it's a little burned and I've always just put it on top of it and then connect it to the electricity and I usually use this for my hair mask and I heard uh, people actually do it also for this hair mask as well so I'm just gonna do it uh, I am actually going to leave this overnight as well because I heard that the longer you leave it on your hair the better so for now I'm just gonna go to the living room and watch uh, TV with my boyfriend while I have this hat on Morning everyone, right now it's Sunday morning. I just washed my hair after leaving it on for like an entire night so I had to wear the hat all night as well but it wasn't as disturbing as I thought so I just washed it and now letting it air dry. I'm not sure if I see any effect yet because it's still drying up but I do feel like it's a little bit less um, dry when it's drying up and of course when my hair is wet I always make sure I apply some hair oil as well I've got plenty of them I just use the whole bottle of Moroccan oil as well and these are just you know different organ Moroccan oil as well and I probably will do another video just to introduce to you which one is the best in my opinion but I think I'm gonna go for a walk outside soon right now it's locked down in the Netherlands you cannot shop or go anywhere we're just gonna find somewhere that's not so crowded take a walk and see how this hair would look like under the natural light I'm not gonna try to uh, blow it dry because I you know sometimes those will give you a false illusion that your hair is smooth I'm just gonna let it air dry and see how it's gonna end up so I'll see you outside okay I am not outside I did not really style my hair because I let it air dry but uh, you can see that it's pretty nice and it also makes it a little bit more colorful and I do feel like the, the ends are not so dry anymore I'm gonna take a little bit more zoomed in videos for you guys to see I just got back from my walk I noticed that when I was outside the hair actually looks a little dried because it was a little bit messy um, but to be honest when I look at myself I don't think it's that dry so I'm gonna make a video again just in front of uh, the light and with my front camera zooming into these roots so that you can see a difference of how uh, it was and how it is right now so this is how my uh, hair end looks like right now you can see from the picture before that i do think it actually improved it looks more smooth now and uh, it also looks a little bit more in shape i don't know why when i was outside the video makes my hair look like it was still kind of messy um probably because how i brush it but i do feel a difference as well when i just brush my hair with the fingers it looks quite smooth so i just 
checked the video I made just now, I was surprised by the effect because to be honest, when I was outside, I was a little disappointed because my boyfriend took the video. I thought, oh, I did not think my hair was so dry when I touch it. And now I see it from the camera, just in front of the light. It looks amazing. It looks super shining. It looks super healthy. I cannot believe this was my hair and after it was actually bleached. So I'm super happy with this product and I'm gonna continue to use them. Of course, I bought them anyway. Even if they don't have any effect, I'll continue using them anyway. But I'm gonna try to do a follow-up video when I use the whole bottles of days and days and see uh, if my hair will have a dramatic change but i'm super happy with the first result already and i would totally recommend you to buy it if you have damaged bleached hair or colored hair i think it's going to really help you a lot and for the effect it's gonna bring i think the money was worth it so um thank you guys for watching and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and it was helpful for you and i will see you next time